Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over how to draw ponytails and how to make them connect to the head. So I drew two back views of a girl, uh, cause, because usually when you draw ponytails or pigtails, that's more common for a girl to have. Of course, if you want to draw it on a guy, that works great as well. Actually, I'm going to draw a side view as well, just to um, show a low ponytail look or high ponytail look. Either way it works. Uh, but you don't have to do this, of course. You can always just draw on a, on a regular sphere um, or regular circle, and that'll be good enough. But for now, I'm just doing heads because that's the easiest way to go about it, for me at least. So let's first start off with some pigtails. How about that? Since pigtails are quite common, a quite common hairstyle in anime. Uh, when it comes to, and I'm only drawing in the pigtails, by the way, I'm not drawing in the bangs. Actually, maybe I will draw in the bangs because that's a little bit more fuller looking. So let's all, let's start off with the bangs here. I'm just going to make very, very simple bangs. I'm not going to make much detail. So let's say I'm going to just draw your classic, you know, straight, um, cute bangs that go towards the center. Very simple like that. You don't have to do this, of course. You could just simply focus on your... Um, you can just simply focus on your pigtails, but for pigtails, you want to make sure that you're dividing the, ha the hairline in half. And of course, depending on how high or how low your pigtails are, I'm going to make them rather high because that's a common thing to, to draw. I'm drawing the most basic style of, hair st uh, of pigtails there is. Uh, you want to first mark out where your uh, your ponytail's going to be. So mine's going to be on this side because I can see it. And of course the other side's going to be marked as well, but you can't really see that very well. So I'm just going to mark that here. Then what I'm going to do is, depending on how long it is, I'm simply just going to be drawing a big mass. So I'm going to be drawing a triangular mass that goes from the top, that's really thick, and then as it reaches the bottom, it gets thinner, like so. And notice how I'm not like, you know, making the hair look like very hairy. I'm making this very smooth and as, you know, as little lines as possible. That just shows more confidence in your line work. Now, of course, you don't have to do this. Um, in fact, uh, you can take your time and just, you know, go one, line by line. You don't, you know, for instance, if you're having trouble with drawing uh, straight uh, or lines in one go, what you can do is, you know, do it bit by bit. So overall... Gently just pull the line down and make sure that they all connect. And that just guarantees more on your confidence. So you don't want to do this because that looks really hairy, as you can see. You want to just go steady, uh, slow and steady and just make sure that every line connects beautifully. Uh, of course, I'm being a little bit extreme on here, but that's how I force myself to learn it, you know, force myself how to draw hair very neatly. Um, and it works for me. So of course this will take a lot of time, but as you can see, I'm putting a lot of tension lines around the edge of the ponytail here. So this is where it starts and I'm putting a lot of tension lines because that's where a lot of the, the pressure comes in. A lot of the tightness comes in, right? Then I'm going to relax them, even put in some overlaps if I want to. Uh, over over the hair. So just by doing that, you created a pigtail. Same thing on the other side. Uh, draw some tension lines going down. And then you can also add some extra hair strands. So that's very simple on pigtails. And if you want to know the, what the back side looks like, what you can do is, you know, just draw the bangs on the other side here. Divide the center line of the, uh, make a center line over ha halfway of the head. Then add some uh, hairlines that kind of, that kind of taper downward towards the neck. And then, of course, mark out your pigtail lines and then draw in the tension lines on the head. So you can just simply Do something like that, and that'll be enough because that just shows that there is tightness around that area. And uh, just to make it simple, I'm not going to draw the whole ponytail. I'm just going to be drawing some buns here, so that's sort of like a Sailor Moon thing. So if you want to just draw little circles as buns, be my guest and do that. 
make sure that they're pretty even in size and height. In fact, it would probably be better if the bun was this way. Bigger in size when it's in the front and a littler in size when it's towards the back. But you can see this a lot more clearly by, sh by showing more of these lines here. And then of course if you want to wrap these uh, buns around, go ahead and draw your circular lines over and wrap them around the bun. So that is one way how you do the back view of a pigtail. And of course, if you want to add some phrase, go ahead and do that towards the ends. That will give it some more life. So here I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a uh, ponytail from the back. Of course, this can be either low or high. I'm actually going to be doing a high ponytail on this one. And basically, though, it works the same way. Mark out where your hair, where your hair is going to be on this side. And of course, draw in where the hair uh, ends along, along the neck. It's always mo most likely it's always tapered uh, um, or straight. It's either straight or tapered. Tapered just gives it a more beautiful look to me personally. And then of course, put in all the all the tension lines up where the um, where the hair is being tied to. Of course, if you want to switch this to a bun, be my guest. But since I'm doing a pigtail, I'm just going to be doing a short one. So what I like to do for this for ponytail is I like to draw a front side and then end with a tapered look. And then I can see the ponytail wrapping around and this is the bulge where it poofs out. So here's the underside and here's the top side. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. And that is basically how you draw a little high ponytail from the back. This one I'm going to go for more of a low ponytail because that's can be that can be a little bit confusing to draw on the side view. So let's say uh, she has straight bangs here and some long hair framing her face. If you want to draw a low ponytail, of course, draw in the hair, but draw, and uh, when it comes to low ponytails, they kind of stick out a little bit from the scalp and then kind of hook over. Then draw in your little ponytail holder and then draw in your ponytail, which is gonna be high from the start and then droops down as it gets lower. So same thing with the low ponytail, but just at a lower feel, at a lower um, area. Of course, draw in your uh, tension lines just to show the uh, tightness in the ponytail and that is pretty much it so this is a quite short video on how to draw ponytails and pigtails let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye